Hello fellow viewers, subscribers and friends, how are you doing? Today I'm here to share with my viewers that I have several families that asked for this video. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna explain how do you use so the cooling system for the beast with two fans. One for the ESC and the other for the motor using the balance plug of the battery. All the parts I'll show in the in the making of this mod during this video will be down there in the description. But ballpark of the prices are this fan with the heat sink costs around seven US dollars, something like that. This small fan cost me around four to five US dollars. The connectors are sold in five packs. They, and they cost around three or four dollars. I don't remember the price on the top of my head, but price will be on the screen. And I will also leave down there fan with a, a temperature sensor if you want to buy that. All right. I have that on my other RC car, the Thunder. If you want to know all the parts I've installed, then this or I recommend to install. Use this code here. All right. Type that on AliExpress. All these parts, I got them from AliExpress. And don't forget to check my description box to go get the discount codes so you can get some promotions just exclusive to my viewers. All right, let's go to the video and keep going. I did this. As I showed in another video that I'll leave the link for it at the end of this one and in the description, I showed how to install these fans and to get the power with a Y connector from the servo signal wire. All right. But that presented a problem for me. And the problem was on 3S, the servo wouldn't work properly. It would stop working. So I had to come up with a solution because these fans are the most needed when we are using 3S LiPos. All right, because this is not designed for 3S, although it works perfectly to try to keep it cooler. I installed these fans. All right, so to make it easier to explain, I remove the parts from the car. I'm in the video showing how to make this metal steel plate to make the, the fan holder for the ESC. Link will be at the end of the video and the description. All right. So what you do is you connect, connect positive with positive and negative with negative in the fans to find out that you can connect the fan and if it's blowing air in the wrong direction you want, you would turn it around, all right? It won't arm the fan, it's, it would just blow air if it's in, in, in one position and it will suck hair if it's in another position, all right? If the polarity is inverted. So no problem, you just change it. So you try it before you solder it and then you solder, all right? So as I want to use this on 2S and 3S, I'm gonna solder a 2S and 3S balance plug Links for this in the description. To remove. So this, this comes with four wires because this is 3S plug. The best way to do this is to remove this, this pin from inside the plug. To do that you use a thin tool and maybe a needle could work as well. But I'm gonna use this. You'll have a slight notch on the place where it it latches. This has a latch. All right. Did come out as you see, or maybe you cannot because on camera this is just tiny. It has a small little latch. You can lift it up. Again, and lash it in, and let it in again. All right. 
So you remove the middle wires, the middle pins, and you keep the extremities. And why is this? Because how the plug, the balance plug works is you'll have, I believe it's positive on one end of the one of the of the batteries, and then you'll have one negative passing through each cell. All right, and of course on neg the negative on the last cell. And what this does is, if you touch, so if you connect to the first positive, the first battery negative, you'll have one, one cell voltage, so 4 volts. If you connect to the second one, you'll have two cells, and so on and so forth, alright? As we don't want to unbalance the battery, you should go get the power from the 12 volts or in case of 2S to the 7 4 volts alright we won't have a problem connecting this and the battery runs out because the car the ESC of the car turns off the car when the battery is low the fans of course are gonna keep working but you'll have to go near the car and disconnect them alright and don't leave them running for too long I'm gonna connect 2S and 3S, but I am gonna only basically use it on 3S. But I will connect the 2S battery because maybe I want to use it. All right, so now I'm gonna solder these two. I'm gonna make them the same length. So I'm gonna get this ready and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna solder this. It's good. Don't forget to use some type of isolate, isolation for the wires. All right, now I'll do the other one and I'll be right back to show you how to mount it on the car and show you the how it works. All right, finish the soldering. I'm just gonna show you outside the car. And test it because you should test it before installing anything. So to S. See if they are blowing the way you want. Yes, they are. So as you see, it works from the balance plug. All right. And now 3S, of course, this will have much more power, the fans, that's obvious, but that is also good, it's loud, but it will keep the car cool, alright? Alright, that's that, now I'm gonna install this on the car, the process I use is pretty simple. It's the same on the plastic and the aluminium chassis. You just make a tiny hole on the chassis with a, a, a very thin drill bit and you, you will use in the plastic chassis one self-thread screw that come inside the, the box when you buy the RC car. They send you three or four screws spares so you'll use one of those and you will make one tiny hole you can also make two if you want I had two on the plastic one and I would keep this piece with two screws but now I changed that and I basically use double sided tape and I'll put a little bit here like so now I made the two 2.5 millimeter hole and I use 2 millimeter screw with a 2 M2 nut a M2 locking nut all right I use this from my WL Toys K969 repair kit which 
is this one here. All right, I remove it. This is wheel nuts for the K969. But I will put down there in the description link for that kit, but also for M2 screws and nuts if you prefer that. Maybe it, it, it will become cheaper, I'm not sure. But I'll put that all that down there in the description for easy access for you, all right? And the design it is, it's a pretty simple design, all right? I make it like this so you can access the power button. I would like to have a mod that would change this power button maybe to the side of the car but I'm yet to find out a way to do that alright like so the nut this is a locking nut so it will keep in place like that so we can still turn it on and off alright now the fan And this is basically it. All right, I'm gonna show you how it works. Turn on the remote, connect the battery, connect the balance plug, this is 3S. Turn on the car. And it, ooh. As you can see, it works. We have the fans connected and the 3S. And this way the ESC and the motor will keep cool. I'm not recommending anyone to use 3S, but if you want to use it, that's how you do it. If you want to see the mod about that I did to install these bigger batteries I'll put the link at the end of the video and down there in the description as well alright when you turn it off you turn off the car and you come and remove the battery connector alright so you don't drain the battery any further okay I'm gonna bring you back to the bench to finalize this video all right I think it was clear if you have any questions about this mod or any other mod for this car or other RC cars all the ones I shown in my channel and maybe about other RC car I might be able to to give you some help who knows all right if you have any question, please post them down there in the comments. I will always like to help people, so I will, will be more than happy to try and help you. All right. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel and you like RC car content and re videos of repairing stuff, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks very much for your support, your company. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.